Hey guys, Graham here and uh, welcome to Digital Flash. What I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be mocking up a composition for a tattoo design. Um, I mentioned this in one of my last videos, it was on um, how to do original artwork uh, without copying other people's work um, and still taking inspiration sort of thing. And uh, I said one of the things you can do is take inspiration from photos rather than other people's artwork and that's what I'm going to do today in this video. I'm going to show you how I mock up a composition on Photoshop. Um, I don't really do this that much but for beginners and people that are trying to improve you know, their technique it's a really good way of doing it and it gives you new ideas. So um, let's get started. My brush settings, uh, which is uh, my canvas settings, sorry, which just popped up there, is 2000 by 2000 pixels um, with a 300 uh, DPI resolution, and the brush settings is literally shape dynamics with pen pressure, and that is all I'm using. So this, these are my bits of reference I'm showing you now: skull, uh, bones, and a rose. And I, I just picked up these um, online. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick a layer mask on the on the skull, and just kind of rub out around the edges. If you want more in-depth um, you know, exact ways of how I do this, you're not very good at using Photoshop, let me know and I can do a video on that as well if you want. But um, a layer mask just means you can kind of erase areas using a brush without um, actually erasing them. You can go back and draw over and then it comes back. So um, yeah, let me know if you need if you want to know about that and I can kind of do that as well. But um, for now, basically I'm turning the opacity down. I've got a bit, I've got some red and I'm kind of drawing in the back of the skull. I like to sketch in red. So when I go over it with a black line work, I can still see what I've done um, clearly. So I'm just going to do the same thing with the bones. I'm going to just erase around the sort of areas where I don't want it to show. Uh, I want to get rid of the right, and then I'm just going to use um, the magic wand tool to get rid of those white areas. And I put it on a black background just so I can see it a bit better. So, good thing about Photoshop for doing tattoo designs like this is you can layer stuff up. Which, um, when you're making a composition with lots of different elements, that's really handy. So. Um, I've separated the bones out into two separate layers, uh, one in front of the other and they're both behind the skull. Now what I can do is just fill in a bit of white there so they don't show through um, the back of the skull and just kind of play about with them. That's the good thing about it, you don't have to kind of sketch in a bone and be like, oh that's kind of in the wrong place and then rub it out and draw a new one. You can just move them about until they're in the right place, you know, scale them however you want and you know once you see I put the other one in then the other one didn't look quite right so then I moved, went back and moved the other one that's the great thing about it you can get your comps like right first time and so yeah just sticking the rose in same thing stick a layer mask on it and erase the edges and as you can see it's coming together quite nicely already I mean it looks like crap but it's just composition like that you're doing it doesn't have to look good at the moment and you know you'll see the finished result at the end just have faith it'll be fine and um, yeah basically this is literally just basic basic stuff so you've got some in so you know where the shapes are and this is really good for swallows just get photos of swallows and kind of trace around them um, that's if you want to do more detailed swallows because this design is going to be neo-traditional uh, that's something I wanted to mention there's a big big difference that a lot of people don't realize between traditional and neo-traditional and Traditional is really basic, the stuff I do in all my videos. Neo-traditional is what this is going to be. Um, and you'll see the, there's a huge difference between it. It's kind of like a modern version of old school, but um, kind of taken to a more sort of detailed and um, illustration-y place, I guess. But yeah, this is uh, basically the final thing. Uh, you saw me mock up, just draw a few flames in the background, like the one on the left. And then uh, the one in the middle is kind of uh, it's got both of them there so you can see how I traced it uh, through you can kind of see on the rows I basically followed all the lines the skull same thing and the bones are literally like exactly the same I just followed the main lines in the piece now I would show you more but this video would have been insanely long if I had actually drawn the whole thing on video but I can do that I can do a time-lapse um, of you know start to finish one of these I, I'll just have to do it really fast so if you want to see that let me know and you, you know you'll see all the line work phase and everything um, and then obviously the one on the right is the finished design and like I say it's completely different from the one on the left and I have changed some stuff but essentially it's the same and the thing that is you know the kind of hard part is the technique that's the only bit which 
you know you might stumble on a few problems because the composition is fairly easy because like you can play about with it so easily on Photoshop but the technique um, is literally you know just getting the line work to look good basically and that does take some practice but as long as you've got a decent composition to work from and you're good with line weights then you'll be fine and line weights um, you just go around the sort of main parts of the design so the very outer edge of the rose for example and the very outer edge of the skull and the eye sockets and the nose socket and just around the teeth just to kind of accentuate the main features and that will give your line work a lot of um, a lot more I don't know, I don't even know what it's called. There's not even a word for it, but it just looks good. So that's a little tip. Um, but like I say, I only do that with neo-traditional. I don't do it with my traditional stuff because that was all one single line and um, a lot more basic. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is um, I actually did this with a graphics tablet, all the illustration sort of line phase. And um, I use a whack on bamboo and I'll link it in the description below if you want to pick one up. They're pretty cheap on Amazon, so I'll stick that link in there and uh, you can get one from there. So yeah guys, um, I hope that helped and if you have any questions don't forget to stick them in a comment, I always reply and um, I'm here to help um, and if this video helps you out please drop me a thumbs up, it helps a lot and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and other than that thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you all soon.